Over the years, the simple hand planer has been the woodworker's most trusted tool owing to its track record of efficiency. Electric planers perform the same function except that they are powered by automated motors which make them very fast and proficient. They are essentially a tool for any woodworker that wants to achieve maximum result with less stress. Now, we get to the question about how to use an electric hand planer. Just like manual hand planers, the electric planer works on a shoe or sole plate. It also has blades fixed at the head that rotates very fast to shave the planing wood. The arm grip doubles as you adjust the depth. The manometer has a default scale setting that is moved forward and backward to set the planer front shoe. This is done in a bid to adjust the depth of the cut. Depending on the depth that you adjust the electric planer to, it removes a bit or large chunk of wood as applicable. To enjoy the conventional power planer as you wish, you need the expertise which comes with practice. Finding the proper balance is very important and this can be achieved by standing in a position that allows your two feet to be apart. You have to be fit in a comfortable position where the planer can conveniently go through the work. Activate the power supply and let the engine reach full speed. As soon as the tool reaches full throttle, you can gently make the planer to touch the woodwork and keep pushing it forward. When the planer goes into the woodwork, make sure that the first pressure forced on the planer's front grip is maintained. When the planer handle meets the woodwork, you must maintain an arm's pressure balance. Now, slide the plane out of the workpiece and do more control on the back handle. You should avoid putting so much pressure on the edge of the wood pass. If not, the wood can be cut unevenly, which is called the snipe. The fineness and ultimate effect on woodwork after using an electric planer depends on two factors. 1. The depth of the cut you chose for the planer. 2. The speed with which you press the power tool. If you plan to shave wood dimensions, 1 8 inch for each pass should do the job. However, if you want to get the best outcome when smoothing hardwood boards, use a 1 64th inch 1 32nd inch depth setting. After you make the right adjustments, you can slowly press the energy planer further to record more progress. Safety tips when using electric hand planes. When using the electric planer, some safety precautions must be taken to avoid minor or significant disasters. The security guidelines are as follows to avoid problems. 1. Wear protective gloves or goggles to protect the eye from shavings. You should take note of the movement of the shavings, so you don't have them affecting your vision. 2. Be sure to pull the plug out of the socket before replacing the blade. Disconnection of the plug from electricity is very important especially when you want to work on the planer. 3. Keep the material you are smoothing in a stable and good position. 4. Make sure to use both hands when working with a planer. Finally, an electric planer is a cheap tool with a guaranteed long span. If you buy one for yourself, you will not be discouraged because of its unique performance. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimplaners.com for more awesome planer content like this.